Risk. Your risk. And you know the bike is dangerous. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Electric powered cars these days are stylish and even fashionable. But most people don't know that inventors have been bringing us electric vehicles for over 150 years now. But although they've always been green, quiet and efficient, most of us still drive around in cars powered by a dirty, noisy internal combustion engine. However, there's an exceptional inventor in Potter's Bar, North London, who's determined to change all that. And believe it or not, this is the research and design headquarters of an international company which is a major player in the field of electric motors. And it's all powered by the unique talents of the extraordinary, and some might say eccentric, British inventor Cedric Lynch. This is the book from which I learned how to make the first electric motor I ever made at the age of about five or six. And it shows how to make an electric motor from a cork and a needle and some dressmaker's pins and a magnet and some plasticine. I can remember the fascination with which I saw this thing actually running. Despite leaving school at the age of 12, Cedric became obsessed with electric motors and incredibly came up with a radically new design while still a teenager. And this was his first prototype, manufactured using flattened soup cans. This souped up motor was so special, it won him an invitation to showcase it on tomorrow's world. Cedric Lynch from Potter's Bar with his interesting design of motor. Now, the magnet here provides a continuously variable field, which means the motor-battery combination can work at its most effective throughout the marathon. Got that, everyone? Off you go. Let's be honest, most of us would be rather bamboozled by the workings of an electric motor. But for Cedric and apparently Michael Rod, they're second nature. Over the years, Cedric has continued to work on his design. The soup cans are long gone and now a small factory in Gandhidam in India is producing a far more sophisticated looking Cedric Lynch motor. The efficiency of my motor is approximately 93% maximum, which means that 93% of the electrical energy going into it is given out as mechanical power and only about 7% of it as heat. It's this efficient mechanical power of his motor that Cedric believes can help the progress of electric transport for everyone. He's continually testing his motors in his own homemade electric runabout. I use this vehicle many days for travelling between Potter's Bar and Finchley, but I have also been to Yorkshire, Norfolk, Birmingham, Anglesey, Coventry, Southampton, Devon. Cedric's next stop, however, is the Isle of Man for the legendary TT races. But he's not going there to watch, he's taking part. Because Cedric has two motorbikes racing in the TT Zero, a special, slightly quieter race for motorbikes powered by electric motors. We entered the TT electric race because it raises public awareness of the performance capabilities of an electric vehicle. He's up against some of the most well-resourced teams in the industry, but Cedric's confident that his highly efficient motors can make a difference. With just minutes to go before the starter's flag, the atmosphere is highly charged. The track weaves its way around the island's famous 37 and a half mile course and pushes the strange sounding electric bikes and their riders to the limit. And to prove I was telling the truth about how good Cedric is, he has a great result, with his two bikes coming in second and fourth. I'm clapping everybody who finishes because it is a magnificent achievement, isn't it? 
With the race only just finished, Cendric is already thinking about next year. We can build a bike with nearly twice the battery capacity that we had now, which will give us the ability to go much faster on the straight. With his unique motor design and over 30 years' experience of building electric vehicles, it may well be Cedric picking up first prize next time.